Today's going to be a pull session. I'm not actually doing my session and my actual training routine. I'm doing it with somebody who actually goes to the same gym as me. His name is Lee. He's now stripping right there, which we've just finished the actual set. But what we're going to do is going to do his session today because he's like, why is it eight weeks out? Good. So uh, yeah, um, John's going to run through a pull session with me today. Um, well, we're about. I'm going for yeah, these, aren't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah, so uh, he's going to run through my pool session. Yeah. Uh, we're eight weeks out on Sunday from PCA first timers. Um, we'll be competing on the 20th of March. Yeah, where at? Uh, we're going to be competing in Peterborough. So, yeah, so I'm, I'm well and firmly into prep. Yeah. Uh, low, low I, might have, I might have to film cardio. it for you. I might have to film. I've never been to a bodybuilding competition. I have, like at Body Power when I watch them on set. But yeah, it's, yeah. it's a bit different, that is, because, yeah. you know, you're just walking around. But I might actually go to the Steve because obviously he's on the. Yeah, I'm absolutely. Sure I mean, um, obviously we're all doing it representing this gym. You train here, yeah, my train here. Yeah. Um, and he's been badgering. Let me go on YouTube with you. Come on, <laughs> let me go on YouTube. And I'm yeah. like, yeah, I will, I will, I will. But he's finally, I'm off for a couple of days. He's off now today. So we've actually had time to do it. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. It's been, well, quite, yeah, been quite a good session. Yeah, so, it has um, been a set, good session. As you, as you see, he's a lot bigger than me, a lot heavier than me. So we was talking off camera that sometimes you don't have to don't worry about the next person next to you because he's lifting heavier weights than you because obviously he, he yes, you know you're never gonna I'm never gonna be able to lift the same as him unless I get to the same size but still I'm not gonna be able to maybe lift the same weight as you even if I'm telling you. No, yeah absolutely. The biggest thing that we look yeah. for is the intensity. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with your your uh, weights remaining at what you're comfortable at. Yeah. We're still working at the same intensity that I do. And that's obviously what we all strive to strive yeah. to do. We're all here to build muscle, we're all here to look good, yeah. and, uh, and yeah. we all have our reasons for doing it. So. So with that rope pulled out, we're going to do a little bit of mess, muscle pre-exhaustion some blood in the muscle before we start doing some heavy sets. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to be doing his complete training plan today. It's very similar, but he's actually are like eight weeks out from the show now, so he's a bit more intense. Is he wants me to lift the same as him? He's 40 pounds heavier than me. 40 pounds. <laughs> oh, good fun.
different sort of lap variation, single arm lap variation where he's using a bench and pulling obviously towards him. Do 15 reps, nice steady pace. Obviously he's gonna be contracting the muscle a lot better. I've never ever tried this. I've seen a few actually YouTubers doing this. Um, so my first time, I'm not gonna go that heavy on this because obviously I wanna contract the muscle better.
what we're going to do now is a double set. First we're going to do some rows, um, some post grip rows, followed by some more um, pullovers with the cable machine, just to exhaust the muscle at the end. We're going to do three sets of this and then I think we're going to be going on to biceps. Remember, he is 40 pounds heavier than me. <laughs> Come on, hold it down. 
Lower, 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 lower. Hold that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, six. Four reps. <laughs> there we go. Let's go. Let's go. Two, three. Let it down. Let it down. So we get off the track. Come on. Four. I'm with you. Come on. Five. One more. All the way down. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good man. So what we're going to go through now is going to go through some of these poses. Obviously, I was going to compete in men's physique, so I was learning how to do men's physique poses, which are completely different from you know your classic bodybuilding poses. You know, yeah. the one thing I like about classic bodybuilding poses is you're showing off what you've got to work for, where men's physique is a bit more fancy, you know, you're standing like a team. Yeah, yeah, it's very close to a yeah. sort of male model. Male model hands, yeah. Yeah, and rather than... He's not, he's not pretty way. enough to be a male model. Absolutely yeah. not. No. <laughs> so not what we're going to do, he's, he's going to show me how to do some, um, and you're going to see what he's like in eight weeks. So if you're thinking about, yeah, I'm in good condition, yeah, eight weeks out, this is what you should look, roughly look like. You know, a bit more, maybe a bit more tan because he's a bit pasty, but saying that, I think you're actually prouder than me. Yeah. yeah. So, so we're going to go through some poses now, uh, and he's going to show me how to, do, you know, flare the lats and whatever. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's yeah. also good. Um, it's good for him because he's now going to watch himself on YouTube every <laughs> single day. Yeah. yeah. The first mandatory pose that you'll find if you're standing in, and you'll spend most of the time is, is sort of legs just over shoulder width apart, slight bend your knees. That will naturally put the uh, so, yeah. definition in your quads, yeah. and then you'll just lean back. And it's just so when you're not on stage and your number's not being called and you're stood waiting, that's supposed to be mandatory. Pose. Hold, hold, are you holding your stomach in or you're just no, no, that's, that's, okay. so, that, that's because obviously you're able yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. So obviously, the one thing to remember is that the judges will be slightly behind you. Well, they will be behind you, but they'll be slightly below you. So yeah. most of the poses that you'll find, we do with the wheel, slightly leaning out back. Yeah. And it's just to yeah. flare the lats out. There you are, so well. and that is where you'll spend most of your time. When not doing mandatory poses, or you're standing in the back way if you want to. So it's like an exercise in, in general, in it. Yeah, know? yeah. So again, the more you do it, the more comfortable it feels, and the less it feels strain-wise on you. As you can see, you are a lot more tapered than me. Where I have this bit, I need to get. That's the bit. Obviously, that's my dieting. But you're more. Yeah. You're uh, more like flat now. Yeah, it's more, I, I it's getting thinner and thinner. And thinner, and thinner, thinner and thinner, oh, I yeah, hate it. Off, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, obviously, the the. the, the is he supposed to go through from there? He's back into that position, yeah. And then is the full lat spread. See, this is what I, I try and do, but where do you put your so uh, again? Uh, some people will pull all the way back, some people will just start on their back. So, always just start with the diamond in the middle of your back, yeah. And then, yeah, turn your thumbs in, hook them around the bottom of your ribcage, and it will feel like you're trying to spread this part of your back. So You'll do it, and as you can see, as my elbows come forward, my lats will spread out. So you can see we're starting to get some there. That's the lats coming through now. All you'll do is just practice over and over. The yeah. more, the more you do it. So you yeah. see, as you can see, as my thumbs turn. I, well, I, when I try to do this, it feels like I'm, I sort of like want to. Do you stick your chest out, or do you? So again, I've noticed or, that you've um, got you, you yeah, 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 yeah. So keep all of, of all of this just needs to be relaxed. Yeah. Because all we're focusing on is just pulling the shoulders down and then pulling the lats forward. Another one of the mandatory poses is you can do your abdominals. So that's hands. Yeah. As long as you can, yeah. which, whichever lead hand you choose, yeah. you'll want to place I, on top. I do that. I, I, this, yeah. is, this is what you get in men's physique as well. So. And then obviously just all the way down. You don't necessarily need to worry about taking air out. Obviously you can see I'm still having it. You'll find that you're going to help you hold in most poses for around 10 seconds. Yes. So if you can keep air in your lungs while you're doing it, I'll be standing here and have a conversation with you. When you want to pull the vacuum, that's yeah. obviously when you breathe all the air out of, the, out of the, your abdomen. <laughs> yeah, that one takes your breath away, oh, yeah. so that one comes yeah. with practice. You've got the good old fashioned double bicep. Oh. So yeah. again, these, your, your legs will stay. Yeah, well, do your legs, so you just... your legs will stay mostly in this position, yeah. shoulder width apart, because your quads, even if you just naturally put a bending, your yeah. quads will engage. Okay. So you don't have to yeah. 
yeah. continuously remember to keep, because obviously as you go through, there's a lot to remember with tensing your lats, your abs, yeah. breathe in, all that lot. So whatever your body can do to help will be, will be sufficient. So again, some people will reach all the way up, pull down, but it's entirely your choice. So I see some people do that, don't they? And then they sort of like Yeah, I mean, some, some people, so you're about there, so they'll start in front of them, yeah. and then they'll twist up and round. Again, you can keep that where you've got your core just slightly engaged. Do you, or do, you, twist, do, you do, you, do anything with your hands, do you? Because I know. So hands should always be facing inwards. Yeah. And you can either have your elbows parallel or slightly up. Yeah. Abdominals, you'll have your double bicep. Yeah. And then you'll turn to, so then you'll have your turn poses. Is that like? So not quite yet, because you'll have the core turned to the right. Yeah. That's where you'll place your feet together and you will show that all three of your obliques, this is our way on classic yeah. physique of showing obliques. And then you'll bring, keep all your core engaged, and then you'll bring your, your arm across to show that your chest. And that's facing whichever obviously way that I'll ask you to face. So, do you feel like you're... So you'll be pulling that one across there because we want to engage the inside of our chest. Yeah. This arm will be behind us. Yeah. Because when you obviously when you lean, you're showing your obliques. So. <clears throat> when I was learning how to do with uh, men's physique, I found out, because well, obviously men's physique, you go like that and then you're like, sort of like, yeah. like that. Yeah. I found that one side was harder to do than the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Again, like, I've, I've got, I've got one side of a turn which is better than the other. Yeah. So that will you'll obviously do, they'll tell you to do your quarter turn to the right, which will be that one. So you'll go to that pose. Yeah. And from there, then you will either have, depending on which side they've gone, okay. your side tricep, your, uh, your side chest or your tricep pose. Okay. So then you'll go obviously into your side chest pose. So your bend lifts are slightly, just to ensure, engage the hamstring and the glutes. Yeah. Lean forward, back, and then oh. you'll obviously look into gauge. Oh, this okay. bicep, not this chest, because obviously it will give us the, the overhang, and then squeeze over for the other side. And at the same, obviously all at the same time, keeping the core engaged. Yeah, I, I, I hate this arm because of the tattoo. I always feel like this arm's better. <laughs> yeah. I, I can feel like, because it's obviously right, my right arm as well, I can feel like I can tend to there. Yeah, I mean, again, there is a possibility that they'll get you to do side chest both sides, yeah. depending on which class you're going. So again, they have to look for some symmetry. But so. also, when I'm leaner, I can see more. Oh, it's hard. It's hard doing poses when you like you can't see no definition. I always found. And then when I was like when I was eight weeks out, I was like like just the abs, and you don't have to breathe in as much because you see them just like yeah, just being yeah. natural. Yeah. Um, what about like obviously I'm not we're not doing legs today because I ain't got any. Um, what about the back? So oh, wow. back you've got two, you've got three poses. So yeah. the, the the standard pose that you will be standing in, yeah. where it's just just like that. And that is your opportunity that your hamstrings and your glutes will be tense. Yeah. It will show that you're in there. Do you stand like like that, or do you pull one? Because I've seen people. Yeah. yeah. One. So on this one, they just want to have your legs. Legs will be straight. And this is just to show you everything. Yeah. And what's your opportunity to tense your glutes? That's what we're doing. Yeah. So then you will have. One leg behind, which will give you a calf spike, the hamstring of that leg, and then again, your choice on which you feel balanced when you've got your double bicep. And then swap leg, because obviously you'll want to see that you're everything that's looking at you, and then you've got your rear lats. Flash shot on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't see that. <laughs> and then obviously this side we've got the same again, you've got your quarter turn to the right. Yeah. yeah. Which is the same as what before. Same as what before. And then you've got the triceps. So see, but this is, I've, I've been trying to practice this and I just can't get you see me is that in it, something like that. And then, yeah, so uh, I mean I was doing it that, so that both legs would stay at this. Yeah. What I'll be doing now is one foot across the other, because obviously you identified my yeah. part a lot better. Yeah. And then it's a case of twist, just grab hold of either your thumb or your hand on the other hand. Ah. Oh, the more you roll your shoulders, 
that way, yeah. the easier it is for you to, because you want your arm straight. Well, you need to learn how to balance. <laughs> well, well you thank you, Lee. No if you want to follow Lee on his journey, obviously he's on Instagram. What is your Instagram? Uh, Lee B underscore fit. It's on the, on the screen now. Um, follow his um, progress because I am. It's going to be quite interesting because when he's ripped, I might actually get a video with me and you again when you're actually, you know, like stage, yeah, yeah. stage present yeah. because then I will actually be a bit more like your standard, hopefully I should be a bit more, well, I will be a lot leaner. Um, and then it'll be like to see the progression, how much he's progressed and also he'll be a lot browner. I'll get some spray tan on. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, I really enjoy this. Now you can show and stop messaging me. <laughs> yeah. Cheers mate. No, it's right. not a problem. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you did like this video, please hit that thumbs button and remember to subscribe and follow Lee.